What's up guys and welcome to our brand new Surfshark Academy video. First things first, you may notice a bit of a change in our background. Well, that's because we're moving to a brand new studio, but it's still not finished. So until then, this is our little temporary place to shoot our videos in and we'll get back into the full swing of things very soon. Well, the news is out at this point, but Surfshark's dedicated IP is officially here. In case you want to get all the little details, then make sure to go watch our video right over here. But in a nutshell, dedicated IP is like a regular VPN on steroids. One of the most obvious benefits of this tech is seeing the lack of Google search captchas. You know, these things that pop out what seems to be like every Google or YouTube search that you do when a VPN is enabled. Well, in my experience with a dedicated IP, I haven't had a single captcha, like seriously, not a single one. And I cannot understate how nice that experience was. Browsing without any interruptions or having to think that you know, whether this car or a bus or a bike or a boat is actually in the little block. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously kidding, but you know what I mean. Captures are super annoying. Besides not getting a puzzle to solve every few minutes, dedicated IP is just a more premium VPN experience overall. Since normally when connecting to a VPN, you're sharing that masked IP with other users which can disrupt access to services that usually are pretty sensitive to IP changes and such. A good example is bank payments. They're just not as smooth with a shared IP compared to a dedicated one. If you're interested in trying this out, Surfshark's dedicated IP is now available for purchase as an extra add-on. So if you have a regular subscription with Surfshark, you can just order on IP in the location of your choice in the account settings menu. And available dedicated IP locations are always subject to change, but the Surfshark team is always looking to add more options. Like I know I've seen of you say, do you want this location or that location? So yeah, we're always constantly working on adding more. Oh, and Surfshark's dedicated IP is supported on all main platforms. So there's no need to worry there. But again, for more details, you know what to do. Go watch our full video. I'll link it in the description below. And yeah, do make sure to give this feature a try. All right, let's talk about this new Surfshark homepage now. A post on the Surfshark subreddit definitely had people raising their eyebrows thinking, what is happening and is a new UI coming soon? And the truth of the matter is that yes, Surfshark is indeed changing. It has been doing that for a while now, actually. Even on our very own YouTube channels, you might've noticed how our banners have changed or video thumbnails and many other elements like animations. We will be sharing more news about this soon, but for now, enjoy the new page and look at it more like a teaser of what's coming later this year. I, for one, think that the new look is sharp, stylish, and extremely unique, which I believe is really, really nice. But hey, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let's talk about app updates now, starting with the Windows app version 4.12. First, the new notification center that we spoke about in the last video is now available on Windows. If there's any kind of relevant Surfshark information or important product news, you'll get it there. Antivirus also got some nice changes. You can now customize your schedule scans even further by selecting the exact day and time you want your scans to start. In addition, one more notable change with this update is that now scheduled scans are actually enabled by default. This was changed to simply improve every user's security, since after installing, you may just forget that the antivirus is even there. So hey, if you notice that Surfshark antivirus is scanning when you didn't expect it to, then probably it was because of this change. Besides that, the antivirus's new auto-delete feature will remove infected files automatically after 60 days. And finally, the update also features small improvements and bug fixes, so make sure to download it and enjoy all these new changes. Sticking with the theme of app-related news, smaller updates were also made to other platforms, Android app got updated to version 2.8.7.4, bringing some connection improvements. Apple users also aren't excluded as the Surfshark iOS app got updated to version 3.11.3, same with the macOS app to version 4.9.5. So no new big changes here, just some small improvements. Oh, and yeah, Linux GUI app also got a small update bringing it to version 1.4.3. By the way, I still see some comments from time to time of people asking for a Linux GUI app. So just to clarify, Surfshark does have a Linux GUI app and you can download it through the website at surfshark.com forward slash Linux. The app is great, definitely give it a try. You will no longer have to type in commands into the terminal like you would on the OpenVPN manual connection. So yeah, try it already. We had the link that I've mentioned earlier. Next, let me ask you this. 
What is the first thing you think about before deciding whether or not you should get any particular VPN? Many of you would probably say price, but you'd be wrong. In my brutally honest opinion, it should be the aspect of trust. Like, hey, can I trust this VPN to not sell my data when using it? Of course, if you watch our channel, you probably already know about the abundance of Surfshark's many, many audits regarding its security. But what if you don't? Then that information was not as easy to find as you might've thought. So earlier this month, Surfshark Trust Center came out, a new page giving you all the VPN trust details you can think of. Like, did you know that Surfshark has a security bug bounty program? Or how it incorporates static application security testing in hardened secure shell? I'll be honest, some of these things seem to be a bit too complicated, even for me. But again, my favorite part is that now you can see all those little certifications and audits in one place so you can read about them and make the decision for yourself whether to trust Surfshark or not. Go check out the full page, I'll leave it in the description below. Hey, did you know that setting up a VPN on TVs can be quite bothersome? Well, if you're rocking an Apple TV, things might become much easier with the new tvOS 17 update, which will be bringing native VPN support. I found this news very interesting and I actually spoke with Justas Pukis, who is Surfshark VPN product manager, and I asked about this update and he stated, quote, we'll use this opportunity for sure. We understand how daunting setting up a VPN on TV can be. We'll be patiently waiting for tvOS 17 release and exploring options for implementing Surfshark on Apple TV, end quote. So yeah, that's definitely a good sign. And while I personally don't have an Apple TV, I think it's still a good sign for the whole industry as perhaps other TV manufacturers will follow suit and make VPNs easier to implement. Quick promo time, Surfshark is running a very special referral deal right now. If you refer a friend to Surfshark, you usually get one month added to your subscription. However, now you will get five months. This promo is active until July 8th, so yeah, this is a great time to extend your Surfshark subscription by referring your friends. Not to mention the fact that it won't just benefit you as your friend will also get a month of Surfshark on top of their subscription as well. Feel good story of the day, and no, it's not a regular segment on our videos, but Surfshark got yet another award. This time it's from the Independent Advisor, a well-known British newspaper. Many of you Brits might already know Independent already, but they do all kinds of reviews on tech products, and it's nice to see Surfshark getting recognized. In her review, Catherine Allison writes, quote, there's much to like about Surfshark. It has a generous unlimited devices policy, provides split tunneling, and the rarely seen multi-hop connection tool. The provider also appears to be expanding its products and has new servers being added weekly. Verifying Surfshark follows best practices, its safety protocols and privacy policy has been independently audited, and it all comes at a mid-range price point. I'll leave the full review in the description if you're interested in reading it. Have you ever seen a YouTuber do a sponsor spot so good that it made you think, wow, they really went all out? Well, over the multiple thousands of YouTubers and influencers that advertise Surfshark, we wanted to find out which ones are the best in our first ever Surfshark Influencer Awards. After looking through hundreds of integrations, and I do mean hundreds of integrations, we found the ones which deserved the most attention in several different categories, such as bust acting performance. Uh, that definitely doesn't fall to me ever. <laughs> or best visual effects, just to name a few. The Surfshark Influencer Awards 2023 are now live on our second channel called Surfshark Explains. And as always, I'll drop a link in the description below. And finally, our comment of the day comes from Sound Broker asking, when is dedicated IP feature coming to the Amazon Fire Stick? Well, at this moment, no, but Hey, if you guys really want Surfshark dedicated IP on the Amazon Fire TV stick, then you gotta let me and the Surfshark team know by commenting down below. And with that, our time has unfortunately come to an end. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the outro, just know that you're awesome. I'll see you guys next month for another round of Surfshark updates. But for now, I'll leave you guys with two more videos right here and I'm saying goodbye. Take care.